Travelling the world is a wonderful part of life, but for most of us here down under, it means one thing, an exhausting and uncomfortable long-haul flight. Thankfully, there's a whole gaggle of gadgets and gizmos designed to make those marathon journeys in economy just a little more bearable. And joining us to take us through some of them is travel writer Ben Farrell from The Road Less Travelled. It's nice to see you, Thank Ben. You. Thank you. Great to be here. Uh, strap yourself in. We're about to depart on one heck of a segment. Uh, we're going to see some of these weird and wonderful gadgets, but like we need some, we need some service, some down help here, hey? Oh, hello! Oh. <laughs> So what is our first uh, that our beautiful Kerry Ann has got for us? So I'll take one of these, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fantastic ostrich pillow. Oh. Uh, now it may look a bit like the love child of a hammerhead shark and an alien creature, but it is by far the most comfortable thing you can put on your head. So it's $99 and essentially it's your own personal cocoon that allows you to sort of sleep anywhere. All right, your hair works. looks good, but I want this to go on. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, you need I to try this. Oh. <laughs> and, uh... I've been told to put a bag over my head before, so... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it? That... Oh, come oh, beautiful. on. Beautiful. Now, oh, yeah, why no. is that going to help? Because I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm now muted. <laughs> It brings out your eyes, I thought. And what are the side bits for? Your headphones? So, no, therefore, if you actually go forward on a tray table, you can put your arms through the holes and ah. actually cross your arms inside. Hang on. Oh. And the added benefit of this is that nobody in the plane will actually want to sit next to you, so you might get a few <laughs> spare seats as well. <laughs> oh <my laughs> you do look like a flight risk, don't you, yeah. when you're wearing this? Yeah. They've actually been around since 2012, but I haven't seen them in airports. I can't imagine why this would be, but if you were too embarrassed to use that, have you got another alternative? What's a face cradle? I do. If I could grab a face cradle, please. Thank you. Oh, she's very good. She's very good. She's oh, very good. good. Thank you. So this is the face cradle. Uh, this is $39.95. It's an Australian product. Uh, it's basically a travel pillow that is configurable into five different positions. Right. So you've got your obviously your standard uh, yeah, neck pillow, yeah, which we all know. Yep, yep. They're great. Then you simply can flip it into snooze mode, where you will put it on the side, and you can sort of. Ooh, oh, that's, like that's a good one. Yep. Oh, that's good. That's yep. great. That stops dribbling on the neighbour. It does. It does. And then there's always the desperation pose, which is with the tray table yep. out, and you can actually sort of fold it down oh, like wow, this. Oh wow, that's yep. like a massage table. Yeah. It is, and it's made of mammary foam, same yep. as massage tables. My favourite, though, would be the deep sleep mode. So yeah. when you're in flight long enough and you sort of had enough drinks to uh, not really care what other people think of you, yes. you can hook this round oh, like this so. Amazing. Right. And you position your body in and uh, just snooze wow. away. Get and, out! Uh, yeah, it's uh, great. It looks ridiculous, but remarkably comfortable. And yeah, it sort of looks like you've left the massage parlour with the face stuck to the table stuck to your great. face. But wow. yeah. Can I, I, now, I think I might have found a, an additional purpose as well please, because please that looks do. a little bit like a toilet seat. Is that for people who crap themselves when they're flying? <laughs> you just sit on it. You just and, sit on it. And she's yeah. right. Now, one of the big problems I face flying economy is is my feet being on the ground all the time. I've yes. got to get off and work at the other end, mm. and I hate having swollen ankles. Have you mm. got something that can keep my feet off the ground? Funny you should oh. ask. I do. I might Excuse just me, grab a, uh, a foot sling here. A oh. foot sling? Yeah, here this is the Andia foot hammock, a hammock for your feet. Uh, this is one of several on the market. Um, this is a very simple one. It's only $12.95, but adds up to about $45 with shipping and currency conversion. Wow. But what you would do is uh, essentially place this on the tray table in front of you. We don't yep. have it. I might assume the position of the tray table. Right up. Um, yep. Eric, if I can get yep. you to place yep. your feet up. Yep. And this oh, is your sort of... Yes. That's actually really good. That DIY business work. class. So that's, that just goes onto the tray table and on the chair in front of you. So you're just pulling yeah. them back as well. They'll love that. They will. <laughs> they will. But, I mean, you're comfortable, so that's the important thing. Exactly, exactly. That's great. That but nice and great. easy, simple to, uh, to carry on and move your legs around. Let me just hold that for you. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, attendant, what else do you have on that tray there? Thank you very much. Ooh. What's this for? Now, this is a high-tech gadget. This is the Illumi Smart Sleep Mask. And what's uh, it going to do? So this uses the same technology that NASA uses on the International Space Station to regulate your circadian rhythms and sleep. So we all know when you, you're travelling different time zones, yep. your jet lags, it's hard to get your body clock working. Uh, basically, what this does is simulate sunrise and sunset. <gasps> uh, so you put it on, uh, you plug your smartphone into it, it has an app. And it has some red lights that slowly kind of dim as you go to sleep, oh, yeah. and blue yeah. lights that wake you up. And it even has a sleep enhance mode that has a pulsating sunset. 
Oh, my Now, wow. I haven't been off uh, hallucinogenics for some time. I don't remember what a pulsating sunset looks yeah. like, but I uh, did try this uh, the other night, and I've got to admit, I, I slept really well. Yeah, so, you have you tried it for jet lag? I have tried it at home just to sleep, mm. and it works. But, yeah, it's $169, so it's wow. not that cheap. OK. Um, but you can configure it uh, to, you know, different time zones, alarms, and that sort of thing. Well, okay, Obviously. so you just try to just for sleep as well. After saying it was pulsating, you had to say just well, for sleep. Just for sleep. I, I, I think we assumed that. Yeah. <laughs> now, everyone seems to be in a rush at the airport, but there's a suitcase that can actually help you get through an airport faster. Yes. How? OK, so this is the Modo uh, bag. Uh, it's the carry-on luggage that carries you. Oh, um, yes. You can Look zip through the airport at eight kilometres an hour. Wow. <gasps> Uh, How long until these are banned? Well, yes. <laughs> Let's get them is, before they are. It yeah. does actually have a crash-proof laptop section, which in itself says that there may yep. be an issue with this. So what imagine power is that? Uh, it's battery-powered um, and <laughs> has a customizable seat. Oh, my God, this is amazing. But, uh, yeah, but I think everything. it looks a bit like a circus clown on a tricycle. I don't care. <laughs> and I want to see you on one of these at LAX. I want to see great. me on one of those at LAX too. Oh, I think hipsters wow. will embrace those very, very quickly. <laughs> and and how much is that? Cab it fits in cabin baggage. Yes, it fits in your overhead locker. They are a whopping 1500 US Whoa. dollars. Oh. Um, so, yeah, they're definitely If you'd like cheap. to see me on one of those, you can buy me <laughs> one yeah, of those. Yeah, I might, I might take the office tin <laughs> for your birthday. Ben, what about, um, you know, we just, you just mentioned uh, cabin baggage, right? What mm -hmm. about trying to cheat the overhead cabin baggage limit? Uh, yes. Is there a way to get around that? There is, there is. So everyone's trying to sort of smuggle as many things on as you can. We've all done it. Uh, the first product is one called Jack to Go. Uh, so it's got 14 different pockets, mm -hmm. made of leather and denim. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, it looks absolutely ridiculous. It's... No, it's, it's better than a boogie board cover, I'll tell you that right <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's weather it's and not windproof, yours, uh, and I think that's just in case you sort of take off wearing it. But it carries 10 kilograms of luggage. It's about uh, 85 euros, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think you may get arrested in the airport. A few people, heat few people on the Gold Coast buying those by any chance? Yes. Yep. Right yes. Right. yes. <laughs> and if you do that, don't do that in public. Yeah. Joe Hildebrand's mum has the budget version of that. She just ties plastic bags to her belt. <laughs> huh? <laughs> she right. does. She does. That's yeah. what she does. It's much cheaper. Uh, ben Farrell, yeah. they are brilliant, and to our wonderful, wonderful right. flight Great. attendant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're calling, lady. <laughs> love it. Coffee, tea, or me? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, thank you so much. Next up, an authentic Indian dish for your next party or Barbie. We'll hit the kitchen after the break. You're watching Studio 10. The exits are here and here. Mm -hmm.